Okay, I wanted to talk about logarithmic functions today. This is just an introduction. And start off with this idea here that log base b of y is equal to x if, the, I know there are two f's here, if and only if b to the power of x is equal to y. I want to just show you this really quickly, that this x value right here is this x value right here. And of course, this y value right here is this y value right here. There are some rules. Uh, first, let b and y be positive numbers uh, such that b is not equal to 1. The log of y is, I'm sorry, the log of y with base b is denoted by log base b of y, so log base, base b of y. This is actually, this is really important. This b right here, it's fine, but it could even be a little bit lower. You want to make it obvious that this is a sub number here, this base. So if you kind of look at it, what really happens is this, isn't it? This b is the base raised to this power is equal to y. Isn't that true? So that's how this happened. And then, of course, we could go backwards from there. OK, so what we're saying is that these two statements are equivalent statements, that we can uh, show these equivalents in either exponential form or in log form. So let's try a couple and see if we can Let's put, let's take this one, let's put it in log form. It says uh, that log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. And let's do some colors if you don't mind. So log base 2, log base 2 of 5, of 5 is equal to 32. So what does that say? Suggest to us that we can rewrite this exact same equation, but we can write it in exponential form. So we take our base, right, base, to the power of 5, so to the power of 5 is equal, sorry, to this 32. So this is the base, this is the exponential power right here, and 2 to the 5th has to equal this little circle, isn't it? All right. Let's try one the opposite way, if you don't mind. Um, and let's see. Th I actually like this problem a lot because it goes to a, it goes to an important truth here. So five to the power of zero is equal to what? Is equal to one, isn't it? Is equal to one. So how would you, take a second, how would you write this exponential form of a problem? How would you change this to logarithmic form? So how would you go this way? We started here in logarithmic form, and I said, well, this is how you turn it into exponential form. But what if we started in exponential form? How do we go backwards? And it's the same thing. First thing I'm going to do is introduce the log, right? So here's the log. Log. And the base is what? This is this 5 here. So log base 5 of what? of 1 equals 0. So log base 5 of 1. And isn't that true? Go back and just look at it. Isn't, doesn't this say what this is? It's 5, right? Just looking at this for a second. Just following your way through this, how you should be seeing this visually, this way to here, right? And then back to here. And isn't it true that 5 to the 0 power is equal to 1? So I think that's good math, isn't it? Okay. So let's try something else. Let's try to evaluate a couple and see if we can figure out what this means. So let's evaluate a couple. I think we're going to just try to get through evaluation here. So let's try to evaluate and see if we can come up with a numerical solution. Please remember that log doesn't have a value. Log is like multiplication, division, addition or subtraction, exponents, parentheses. It's an operator. It's a command. It's telling us what to do. It doesn't have a value. This log, if you pull this out by itself, just say log. What is log worth? I don't know, what is multiplication worth? What is division worth? So it doesn't have a numerical value. It's a command. It's a directive. It's an operator. So, okay, let's try this. So log base 3, well, that didn't change anything, base 3 of 81. So how do you evaluate this? This is a question. This is 2 times 2. This is whatever. What is the value here? And what you want to ask yourself is this. What this brings to mind to me is this. Is this how I see this? Like, okay, I see in my mind, I see this, and then I see some 
and I know this isn't broken print because this is just what I'm imagining in my head because this is what I'm concerned about. And that gives me, gives me this question. Gives me the question. And the, my question is 3 to some power a is equal to this 81. And we spent a lot of time uh, last marking, last, uh, in the last unit, talking about change of base. So can't we rewrite this? 81 is the same as 3 to the fourth power, isn't it? That's an equivalent, isn't it? It's equal to 3 to the a, sorry. 3 to the a. a is just, I'm putting some number in, in here. So a is equal to what? 4. Therefore, therefore, this is equal to 4. Isn't that right? Go back and check again. Same technique we used before. Exactly the same technique we used before. Going to go back and check. 3 to the fourth power equals 81, yes or no? Yes. Good. That worked, right? Sometimes it's a little bit trickier. Let's try just one more really quickly. I think we're well on our way to getting this down. How about this? This is a little bit stranger. Log base 9 of 3 equals what? So now the question is 9 to some power. The some power is our little blank space we're going to put that in. 9 to what power is equal to 3? Well, this takes a little bit more thinking because... Is it the zero power? No, that's equal to one. Is it the first power? No, that's equal to second power is equal to 81. Third power is equal to some big number. Zero power we already did. So it's, it seems to me like it's somewhere between zero and one, isn't it? Because nine to the zero equals one. Nine to the first equals nine. So it seems like it must be somewhere between the zero power and this power. And if you thought carefully, if we, when we think carefully about it, we realize maybe that it's a, it's a rational exponent, and 9 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 9, isn't it? The square root of 9 is 3, so the answer here, the value here is equals 1 half. All right? Is there anything else I really want to touch on here? Look, see if we can do it as fast as possible, just to introduce these two things, so if, just stay with me for another, give me two minutes, will you? Um, this is uh, the other two things that you're going to see a lot. You're going to see the common log. I just want you to recognize them when you see them. The common log is written this way. You're going to see log of, log of, I don't know, x. And hopefully you realize that we usually have a base here, don't we? Right? We usually have some base, and we have some number down here, don't we? And we have some number written in here. So we seem to be missing that value, aren't we? So if you notice that, you're like, hey, where's the base? Then we have to assume Right? In the same way we assume this is positive 5 because there's no negative sign. In the same way with this, we realize when we see this log of x, we realize what, we're, what it, this says is log base 10 of x. You can call this common log, but most commonly this is just called log of x, and we have to assume that there's a 10 here. So that's one. The other one is the, is the natural log, ln. Natural log is the other one that you'll see a lot, and it's even more confusing because it's natural log, but it's ln of x. Uh, it's from the French uh, log, logarithm natural. Uh, Leonard Euler, I'll give him credit for that. So, and when you see this, what you have to realize with this is this is, this is the same as reading log base e of x. Sometimes you'll see log base e of x and you'll say, you know what, that's this, I'm going to convert it back to this. Or sometimes, look, you'll see uh, ln of x, ln of 5 is equal to log base e of question mark, and you have to realize these are equivalents. So where you see this, you can replace it with this or vice versa. Okay, I know that was a lot. Um, these two pieces are just memory pieces, and you just have to memorize this, that when you see this, it means that. And this, you have to just keep in mind that when you see log of x, right, and this is just red, log of x. Some people say common log of x, but not as often. This one, when you see it, it is red. You say ln of x. Here's my phonetics. Or you, if you want, how about this? ln of x. All right? Uh, uh, memorizing these things are going to be huge and critical for you to do really well in this. This is not difficult. you got to really press on, okay? Good work.